is a more interactive guide to the sniff lock and drop. I've already done one YouTube channel where I go through the handout for the sniff lock and drop but this is a bit more of a kind of practice session so you can join in as I kind of talk through how to do a technique which is essentially a reverse kegel or also known as a sniff flop and drop. So you can do this uh, kind of exercise uh, either in lying or in standing. So some people find in different positions they're able to feel it a wee bit better. Some people find maybe on all fours or on inside lying. So try different positions to see what basically you find the easiest to be able to connect and feel what's going on in your pelvic floor. Don't worry too much if you don't feel anything or if, if you don't feel a lot. If you have a very hypertonic pelvic floor, so like really tight pelvic floor muscles that have been held that way for quite a long time, you might not feel a huge amount of movement when you're doing this exercise. Or the other issue often with the pelvic floor is because you can't see it. Sometimes it's hard, I think, for the brain to register what's going on down below. So when you're watching this video, you'll see kind of from my tummy upwards, but you wouldn't see anything anyway as to kind of what's going on down below. But hopefully as you get more in tune with your body, more in tune with your pelvic floor area, it'll be a wee bit easier to kind of detect what's going on. And when you're doing this, basically when it comes to the sniff, flop and drop, you should feel the pelvic floor muscles lengthening or stretching, releasing and relaxing. But like I say, don't worry too much if you don't. So when we do a contraction, the muscles kind of squeeze and contract up and in the way. And when we do a reverse kegel, a release, they go and relax and lengthen essentially down the way, but a little bit of movement. There's not a huge amount of movement when it comes to the muscles when you're doing either exercise, essentially. So in what position, whatever position you are comfortable, get into that position now. So like I say, either standing, sitting, different positions. And what I want you to do is just pop one hand on your tummy just to kind of feel what's going on there when you're doing this exercise as well. So as I say, it's called the sniff which is basically an inhale through the nose, a kind of sharp inhale, holding for three. And when you're doing that, you should feel a flop, which means your tummy is gonna go out the way, not in the way. So it's a flop out and then a drop. So that's the lengthening of the pelvic floor. So just keep your hand on your tummy, take that sniff in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep your legs relaxed, everything else. And again, breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And do one more just now, breath in and out. So as you're doing that, just trying to think not just about your tummy and pelvic floor relaxing, but your jaw, your kind of throat and kind of upper chest as well. Our bodies are so interlinked that if there's tension going on kind of further up, that can even impact on the pelvic floor as well. So when you're doing these exercises, do a few at a time with the, the kind of breathing in, the release, the flop and the drop of the pelvic floor. And every so often kind of during the day, if you're boiling the kettle or, you know, just been to the toilet, any kind of opportunity, just check in with your pelvic floor. And especially if you are having issues like leaking or kind of feeling heaviness or pressure down below, not long given birth, all these kind of things, you might have a tendency to kind of like want to grip or hold on to your pelvic floor, maybe like a 10 or 20% contraction. So during the day, just kind of check in. And if you feel there's a bit of tension there, just try and release it. I don't have a hypertonic pelvic floor, but after I had my kids, I had to rehabilitate as well. And there'll be even times in it if I get a wee bit anxious, a wee bit kind of like stressed with life now, I'll sometimes kind of feel that my pelvic floor is kind of tensioning a wee bit. And at that point, I'm able to kind of let it go. So it's a really good exercise to practice and also just to get into the habit of knowing and having that body awareness as to kind of if there's a bit of tension there, being able to release it. So I hope you find that interesting and a bit of a, an explanation to the reverse Kegel slash sniff, walk and drop. Thank you.